Okay, YouTube peeps. Part two of my zinc planing system to yourself home kit. Part two where I finally got all the bugs out. You know, since I pretty much built this from the ground up, there was gonna be some bugs. Uh First biggest issue is the power supply. I bought a cheapy on eBay. And take my advice. Don't buy the cheapy on eBay. Um, they're around 50 bucks, 55 bucks on eBay. That's the ones you want to avoid. The next one up I highly recommend is this one. This is anywhere from $90 to $120. Well worth a little bit more money over that. Absolutely no good piece of crap. $55, $50 version on eBay. This one's on eBay as well, but this, um, they actually post a name, you know, and they actually start listing the brand name, you know, probably going to be decent. So this is a Cor Corad, K O R A D. This thing weighs like twice as much as that other power supply. So you know this quality. This one is. This I'm happy with this one. The first one that I got on eBay, that fifty dollar piece of crap, actually was uh, defective out of the box. So I don't even know how it even how well it even worked because it wouldn't even work out of the box. I had to return it. Thank God, I got my money back. Um, so again, my best advice: don't buy that cheap power supply. You know this one is still considered cheap for a hundred bucks. That's still cheap for. Decent power supply, but this one is awesome. And this one's a 0 to 30 volt to 0 to 5 amps. This is probably more than enough than you need. Definitely don't need anything bigger than the 10 amp version. There might be a 10 amp version, but I end up getting the 5 amp version. So I've got my, uh, I probably invest in no more than about $200, $250 for this whole system. And pretty much all. Household chemicals, except for the zinc sulfate I had to buy on eBay. But Plenty Bath, again, has white vinegar from the grocery store. And white, you know, white distilled vinegar. And uh, Epsom salts from, like, Walgreens. Pretty much anybody has Epsom salts, even Walmart. But you got to get the stuff, get the pure Epsom salt. Don't get the scented stuff. Don't. Try to find the Epsom salt that doesn't have any additives or scents to it. So, you know, about all these buckets, pretty much everything from Walmart you can get, except for the zinc sulfate. Uh, you're going to get an eBay, and that was only, what, $8 for a one pound bag. I even got this crock pot at Walmart for 10 bucks. This works perfect for cooking your parts. You want to degrease your parts, so I have a detergent in there. You can even use lye. Uh, cook your parts for 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but that's after you um, media blast. So these bolts were media blasted with aluminum oxide. So that was your first step is you media blast your hardware or your brackets. And then you wanted to dip it in the uh, detergent for 15 minutes. And I got these nice little strainer, strainer cups from Walmart as well. So I'll just cook those in the crock pot for 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll move on to the next step. 